Hey guys, ladies man Steve here showing you a tutorial on how to kill the space monkeys on Ascension. And so, just letting you know, the space monkeys can come out any round that they want after you've turned on the power. And obviously if you have a perk. If, they, if you don't have a perk, they simply just don't come out. And so, yeah, this is a different game here, but monkeys can come out as early as round six. Uh, I turned the power on on round five on this game, and yeah, so um, so the best ways to kill the monkeys is actually to not use any guns that shoot bullets. And now that might sound silly at first, but if you bear with me, I'll explain why. The monkeys are very small targets and are very hard to hit. So you, you want a gun that makes it easy to, to hit the monkeys. And guns that are as accurate as, let's just say, the MP5K can be quite hard to hit and kill the monkeys. And even though I easily pass round six here, it can be, um, like, it is only round six. So once you get into the high rounds, it's going to be much, much harder. And so... The best way, I think, of killing the monkeys on just about all low round is using the sickle. And the reason why this sickle is so good is because it automatically locks onto the monkeys when you go to knife. And, and so, yeah, they do quite a lot of damage to the monkeys. And so you'll see in the upcoming gameplays I'm going to show you, it's still a uh, one knife kill on round nine, which is quite an early round to have a sickle, of course, but yeah, you're not running around trying to shoot little tiny things, and it's a lot easier to kill them as well. It's not annoying or anything like that. And the, the sickle, it goes until quite a high round to kill to kill these monkeys like the sickle stops being a one knife kill to zombies by round 10 and as you can see it's round 13 here and you'll notice that they are still a one knife kill with the sickle and and so yeah this shows that the monkeys don't have a lot of health they have much less health than the zombies but the reason why they seem like they have a lot of health is because if you try and shoot them with something that you'd think would be really good, like an, like a commando or a glil or anything like that, then you you miss half the time. And yeah, it's yeah the monkeys don't have as much health as you think. It's just a matter of hitting them rather than having a powerful gun because if you have a powerful gun and you're missing most of the time then there's no point you're much better off with a gun that can or, or something that can hit them nearly every time because these little guys are really hard to hit and so yeah um, these guys only attack in numbers as well so unless there's like three or four of them I, I don't recommend you knife and they only attack you when they have you dazed when they jump up and hit the ground and yeah you you slow down so yeah they only attack you when when they've done that too so yeah and, and to avoid to avoid that daze what you do is that you jump when they hit the ground so yeah just don't be on the ground when they hit the ground and you won't be affected by it and so yeah um the, the sickle really works at the higher rounds as well. The as you can see, I do have the ballistic knives here, so so yeah, that's obviously you could say that's like a part of the um, sickle. Yeah, you can use ballistic knives or the sickle or whatever, and yeah, that that kills them really quickly and really effectively, and. Yeah, even like if you pack a punch them, then yeah, 
it can still take him out really quite quickly and really quite easily. So yeah, um, that's one good thing about having the ballistic knives. Obviously you can have the ballistic knives, they also have a use of reviving your teammates. So, so yeah, on Ascension I always get the ballistic knives because they're really good against monkeys and you can help revive your teammates and stuff. And so, yeah, you'll notice that in this, on this round, like, yeah, like this is um, starting to get into the higher rounds if you have three or four players, but it's still only three knives to kill the monkeys. And so, yeah, and as you can see, another good way of killing the monkeys is using explosives. It might have seemed like it it took a little while to kill them then. Um, yeah, the, if you try killing a monkey with an org or a glue or something at this stage, then yeah, good luck because yeah, it's just going to be really hard and I can definitely understand why not many people like monkeys at all because they are quite hard. But if you have a pack a punch, um, explosives gun or the ballistic knives then you should be fine up to a much higher round. Claymores can also really help you against the monkey. So yeah moving on to explosives now. Explosives are probably the best way to kill them but everyone's favourite uh, the Mustang and Sally that is really quite good against them and really just any explosives gun but if you have one that you have to reload every time you shoot so like a non pack a punch law or a china lake or anything like that then it can be a bit harder but yeah if you have phd it's, it's just a breeze so someone can protect phd and the other can protect jug and quick revive if they have the mustangs mustang and sally quite easily so, yeah, um, <clears throat> and also just letting you know that the monkeys do come randomly every four to five rounds after they come the first time, and so, yeah, and they also take Juggernaut and Quick Revive, depending on if you're playing solo or not, much quicker than any other perk, so if you realise that they jump on Jug and you think, oh, it, it's going to take a while for them to take Jug because it takes a while for them to take other perks. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Yeah, it, it is quite annoying how it takes Jug quicker and Quick Revive even quicker if you're playing solo. So, yeah, that gives you um, more priority to defend those perks because not only are they more important, but the the monkeys can take them a lot quicker as well. And so I'm going to show you an example here on round 27, which is quite the harder round. Uh, I do have the thunder gun here, which and the thunder gun is odd at killing the the monkeys. It's two shots to kill the monkeys, no matter what. If you're on round six or if you're around 126, then yeah, it's going to take two shots no matter what. So as you can see, I jumped there to miss the um, his attack. And yeah, I just can't defend him with the Pack-A-Punch Python, which is the Cobra. So yeah. Um, and I'm just going to show you how much harder it is, especially just here. It is just really hard to shoot the monkeys and I'm gonna play it in slow-mo here like if you miss him just an inch one way then you're gonna miss him an inch the other way and the monkeys are really quite skinny as well so so yeah I only hit him like three or four times here I think hit him four times and that still doesn't kill him on round 27 and so yeah you just have to be one of the 
best players, one of the best, most accurate players, or yeah, just go and use a better um a better gun, a gun that doesn't shoot bullets, a gun that can nearly guarantee a hit on them every time. And so yeah, the Thunder Gun is the high round strategy to kill the monkeys, but another high round strategy of killing the monkeys is um, is a gun that I'm guessing you're not surprised, it's the ray gun. The ray gun is good at killing just about every single zombie boss on Call of Duty, so yeah, so it takes maybe five shots to kill the monkeys at this round and you might be thinking, well, like that's still a few, but like it's round 36, so at a quite a high round here and there are no other guns that can really kill monkeys as quickly unless you have the Mustang and Sally and PhD so so yeah the ray gun is definitely the best way to kill zombies if you're playing co-op unless you had a really really high round then it would be the thunder gun and so yeah um, yeah, that's it really, um, I'm going to be showing you the strategies on how to protect Juggernaut and Quick Revive. The, the best strategy is to use the doors to your advantage and the way you do that is that you either don't open up the spawn door which, which leads up, so so the one on the second floor in the spawn room or just there where Juggernaut is where the monkey's running through just there so yeah you, you don't open up either one of them two doors and if you're playing solo I recommend you open up the we'll call them the quick revive door and the jug door so the quick revive door, door is um, at spawn and the jug door is just on top of jug. So the reason why you don't want to open up the um, the quick revive door on solo is because well, quick revive is the one that you want to protect the most. You want you'd want them to take your jug first, then your quick revive. As long as you know you can survive the round, the rest of the round without jug. And yeah, it's the other way around on co-op. Um, Juggernaut is definitely the most important perk when Quick Revive only revives other people quicker. And so, yeah, so definitely keep that door closed instead. The the Juggernaut door closed instead, that door, when you're playing uh, with two or more players. And you keep that door shut when you're playing solo, which is just out, out of spawn. And so yeah, um, the last best way to kill the monkeys is with shotguns. Uh, depending on what shotgun you have, depending on how powerful it is, obviously depends on um, how good it is against the monkeys. And they shoot shotgun shells, so they don't shoot bullets, obviously. And yeah, so it's quite easy to hit the monkeys with them. Thank you for listening guys, I um, hope you enjoyed the video and next time you verse these monkeys you should be well prepared into knowing how to kill them properly. So so yeah, if you want um, more videos like this then please subscribe and have a nice day.